Hello! Are you ready to blast off with Galactic Gamers? Right now, we're um, just looking at some static. It sort of looks like, you know, the computer's not connected to television at all and I'm just looping some kind of stock footage clip in iMovie over and over, but that's not true. So, what game should I play? Hmm, I'm feeling in a rather mathematical mood, if I do say so myself, which I do. So, ah, this game would be perfect. Hmm, I think this might be the wrong game. I, ugh! Yeah, okay, yeah, this is the wrong game, alright. It doesn't help that the disc is unmarked, and every single time I try to destroy it, it comes back. It's strange, it's almost like it's cursed. Anyway, let's put the proper game in. Boom. Unimportant losers fight each other! No pet stage! Versus Shannon! Shannon's breasts are destroying existence! Use maths to fight them! You could have said Monday! Tuesday! <laughs> but they're not! They're not! <laughs> this! A number! But it's a. Yeah, it's one Coke bottle! <laughs> but that's not a number! You said real and imaginary numbers! Yeah, no, no, no. Look, of a set of Coke bottles. The set of Coke bottles is the most delicious set of all. <laughs> I have a Coke bottle, this is my set. You compare it to the number set and you'll see that the first element... What's a I don't number know why set?! Number set. And why is it an element? We're not in fucking Naruto. It's, water. it's a part okay. of the set, it's a water, part of the set. wind, earth, fire. She forgot Coke, the most delicious element of them all. There's the elements! <laughs> we won't call it element, man. We won't call it element. We will just call it another name. What? <laughs> I don't know, I know, it's just part of the set. It's just part one of the set. It's no, just but I thought a part. You said a set with a circle. With nothing that was a it. metaphor <laughs> for the empty set, which holds nothing. But what's a set the look coke like? set. What does a set look like? It's nothing. It's just all it is. <laughs> it's not that like. It's, it's just what holds things. So it's like a how many bag. a set of coke bottles in Gage's hand is one. The most delicious set of them all. It's just Engage a way of defining was, things. How is it engaged to your hand? Engage's hand. Engage's <laughs> hand. In my hand. In my hand. I don't understand anything anymore. Not there. Not there. Fucking stupid! Do you remember how you, how you def derive numbers? No! <laughs> okay. Do you remember the circles of nothing in them? The sets? The empty sets, no, Peter? No, don't talk to me about those fuckers again! <laughs> They're just there to confuse me for no other purpose. You know, you, you, you can count without using real numbers. You no, just you have to count without using real numbers. No, just one, yeah. two, three, four. But those are real numbers. You can't Banana, say orange, apple. That's all that. Counting because it they're is. separate things. Yes, for two different sets, and we're comparing them. No, it's the same. <laughs> So I have oh, apple oh, number of whatever. Separate things. <laughs> no, because you can't. You Monday, can't. Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday's counting. the apple day. You're not counting. <laughs> no, you're not counting the day you would to count Monday. You would have to say one Monday, two Monday, three Monday, four. You can't just say Monday, Tuesday. <laughs> but they're numbers. They're not. What do you mean one Monday, one Monday, two Monday, three Monday? Because what I'm saying is there three Mondays after count. each other. You have to count like one, two, three, four. Yeah. You have to use numbers, actual numbers. You can't just say apple. Yes, Cactus. you can. Aubergine. Apple is the first part of that set. Banana is the second part of that set. Orange is the third part of that set. As long as I have enough <laughs> elements, That's I can do a it. That's list. That's like yeah. what you go down to Numbers are a list. Numbers are a list, aren't they? One, two, three, four. It's a but list. They are chronal. They actually mean something. Yeah, but I define That's a. Just gibberish. I define Apple, a. Apple, Monday, Tuesday, <laughs> I catnip, <laughs> fucking Japan. Yeah, but I can oh. teach. I can just teach people. I can teach people to speak with your apple list, couldn't I? The fruit list. No. I can teach people how to do that, and then it would become logical. They could use that set just as they could use numbers. So they'd start dividing apple by fucking Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, if they wanted. To. That makes no sense. <laughs> Okay, no, 
know you could do that because um, no, Wednesday is not an apple, but you could divide. What apple? Huh? Well, no, apple? Wednesday. Wednesday's not a fruit, but I could divide banana by apple in a new system. <laughs> that would be okay. No, you. What would you get? Banana apple. I don't know. I haven't defined that yet, but you could. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you okay now? <laughs> you don't want to know about calculus. No! Say <laughs> 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 so you have a graph of one over x, y equals one over x, and so you have a graph of y against x, yeah. And at every point you plot one over x, okay? All right. Yeah. And you get a graph that looks like this. You get a curly bit there and a curly bit there. Yeah, I get that bit. So why don't you get anything? on the y-axis. Why does it disappear at that point? Because it's a line and it's an axis and you can't use it. It's because at that point x is zero and one over zero isn't defined. So you can't put it on a graph. Why? Well because how no, do you, because you, can how do you do define one, how many zeros are in one? Comma zero. Can't you? What do you mean one comma zero? Because that's coordinates. Yeah, so you, you can. One comma zero. Yeah, but if, if the equation's y equals one over x, and x is zero, then what the hell's y? It's the other line! <laughs> but it just doesn't, you don't plot it, because it, <laughs> it you yeah, can't define true. it. You could have infinite zeros in one, you could have no, no you zeros can't. in one. Because it's one! <laughs> one doesn't have a zero, because it's one! What that do you mean one doesn't zero. have a zero? Yeah, but I can divide four by two, and four doesn't have a two. <laughs> <laughs> what? Look, if you divide one by zero, it doesn't make any sense, does it? So we don't plot it. <laughs> but zero is a number. <laughs> yes. And so is one. Yeah, but what does one divided by zero equal? One. No, we don't know, so we don't plot it on the numbers. You can divide two by four because there are two twos in four. Divide two by four? That'd be 0.5, wouldn't it? <laughs> what? <That's not> <laughs> Because <laughs> 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 no. 0.5 times 4 gets you 2. <laughs> no, I thought one. 2 divided by 4 was 2. 2 divided by 4 was 2. <laughs> no, 4 get... divided by 2 was 2. I, get... I, I only just learnt out that square rooting something was different to dividing something, okay? I'm kind of confused about that. You can divide. Thing. You can divide by minus one without it being imaginary. What? It just becomes I minus. You said you can't divide it no, you by can't, minus one. You can't have a square root of minus one without it being imaginary. That's an imaginary number. Fatality! You destroyed Shannon's understanding of reality. It's a twenty ton divided by minus one. It's imaginary. No one cares. But that actually could be fucking rude because it's true. It just approaches zero, but it gets closer and closer over time. La, 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 I'm going to zero! <laughs> yeah, no, it works like this, look, right? Say I'm the number, and that's zero. I start going really quickly, but I slow down more and more until I actually go like this. I'm moving slower and slower over time, and I never reach zero. Because I, I slow down. Because I slow down faster than I move forwards. <laughs> <laughs> How can you slow down quicker than you move? Okay, let me give you an example. Right? Say we've got an one, yeah? And I want to get one to zero. So I divide one by ten, 0 0.1, by ten, 0 0.01, by ten, 0 0.001. Now I'll never get to zero, but it'll keep getting smaller. Why don't it approaches you just zero. Away and just put the zero there? Well, because it's not ever zero, it just gets smaller and smaller over time. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> You get to zero, but just take zero. <laughs> I didn't miss that. I know, it was perfect. <laughs> no, you're not. No, 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 you're not. No, what's happening is the atoms in your body, right? The atoms in your body are pressed off. Yeah, the atoms in your body, yeah, 
Yeah, right. Well, as forces interact between those atoms and the atoms of the stairs, so that you're <laughs> trying to push them together, but they're being repelled by the fact they can't have electrons in the same space, and the electrons <laughs> repel each other with like Are charges. Are you gonna help me or not? Um. Okay. <laughs> Here, to my hand. It's a gun. <laughs> Interacting with your body. They're interacting with the atoms of your body. But the atoms never touch each other. How does yeah, But if I can touch it. Yes. That's me touching. Yeah. You said that I don't you can't touch yeah, things. Yeah. Well you yeah, can. But you're not physically oh, God, you can, but you can't. Shannon, you're not physically contacting it, are you? You're just pushing up as close as you can for the repulsive force stops getting any closer. Physically contact that body. <laughs> you're, you're, not, not, you're not contacting it. <laughs> the atoms, the atoms are just repelling your face. <laughs> That's what's happening. <laughs> because you can't overlap the electrons in your face with the electrons in the book. What about this? No, we're still not doing it. See, that's the rupturing of blood cells underneath the skin that causes the subdural hematoma. Pushing them. That makes you can actually say, well, they're touching, but then you can push them further into each other so that they get squashed. And then you can well, hold exactly. touching them out. Yeah, but when you push against it, you're pushing against the repulsive degeneracy force from the. What is that? That's the fact that electrons can't overwrap each other. It's because electrons can't overlap each other. <laughs> right? Okay, so it doesn't make any sense. You're right, it doesn't fucking make any sense. It doesn't make any sense to say can atoms touch each other because no, because touching each other is literally defined as pushing up against a generosity pressure. <laughs> so yeah, you can use the word touching in a scientific sense, but you're never contacting things, but you don't contact the bookshelf or contact the door on your way out. Bye Shannon! Shannon, I won't, I won't do any more physics or maths. Do you want to come back inside? No, because I won't be touching the floor and I'll be floating. <laughs> That's okay. Floating's nice. <laughs> because if I'm not actually physically touching these, I'll be floating. Sort of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do anything because nothing is real. Numbers aren't real. We're always floating. And all matter is also a wave, and all waves are also matter. <laughs> Fatality. <laughs> Bye, Shannon. Bye. Gage is victorious. Play again. You've just been watching a let's play of unimportant losers fight each other from Galactic Gamers. At least if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Please, please like the video. It's all I need. Some validation, please. Please just like the video. <laughs> please like it. Like the video. <laughs>